Do you want aim like this? Oh my god. You see they're raiding and you don't want to come over. Okay, I just tripled someone. Do you want to defend online raids like this? He just blew my door. He just blew my door. I killed him. Killed another. He's above. He's above. Dead. Now that's kind of corny. I'm not going to lie. So I'm, I'm just going to start over from scratch. Anyways, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've updated my settings and sensitivity. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking for updated settings. So I went ahead and finally made an updated one for you guys so if you're looking to improve your aim in 2023 then go ahead and look at these settings real quick because i finally have found something that actually feels decent for me and there's actually one little setting in here that i'm going to show you guys that helped me improve my aim from like 50 percent all the way up to like 90 percent right now so anyways let's get into it i'm gonna start with graphics because everyone's asking me about my graphics settings lately and I, I don't do anything special to it. It's mainly just color correction in my editing software. So yeah, there, there's my little secret for how I make my game look so good. I just bump up the saturation. But anyways, you can go ahead and look through these and copy them down if you want. I leave my brightness at 1.5 just because it looks better than leaving it at max brightness. But whenever it turns nighttime, I like to turn it up to two. Audio, you can go ahead and look at all those. I mean... It's just personal preference. You you can change yours to whatever you like, honestly. HUD, again, personal preference. You don't even need to mess with it. And then the main thing that people are probably wanting is controls. And the one tip that I said at the start of the intro that's going to help you with your aim so much is having aim recenter on. I've always played without aim recenter on, and I just turned it on probably like a week and a half maybe two weeks ago and my aim ever since then has been insane i've hit some of the nastiest clips i've ever hit i used to think it always made my aim worse but i don't know just turning it on lately it it almost feels like i have aim assist i don't know what to tell you it's just you guys got to turn this on and at least give it a shot i i don't know it just helped my aim a lot i don't know how to describe this setting in general but yeah i just have all these settings on aim assist and all that it really doesn't even matter on those they don't work And then I kind of like faster sensitivity. I'm at 90 for the X and 100 for the Y. My ADS is at 30 and the one times, so like hollows and all that is at 30. I like that to be a little slower for when people are moving side to side. I can kind of keep up with them and not just be jerking all over the place. Four times, I like to have it a little bit faster, but not too fast where I'm just zooming when I'm trying to make minute adjustments. Bow sensitivity, I like to have that even faster than four times just so I can flick with it. But this one's mainly personal preference. I, I change this on a daily basis almost. Sprinting, 100. I just leave it there. I haven't messed with it. I don't see the purpose. Boost multiplier, 100. And if this sensitivity feels too slow for you still, then I would recommend turning this boost multiplier up to maybe like 115 or something. Dead zones, this is just based on your controller. If you have stick drift, I would turn them both up to like probably 10. Um, if you don't have any stick drift at all, like it's a brand new controller or something, I would go ahead and turn them down to five. But on my controller, I have a little bit of stick drift, so that's why I have mine at what I have them at. And then game settings, I mean, I don't change anything in there. They don't matter. But yeah, that's that's all of my settings that I have updated for 2023 so far. And I don't plan on changing these anytime soon. I kind of want to keep these the same and kind of get used to my sensitivity and stick with it for a while. So I don't see myself changing it in the near future. I might make adjustments to it here and there, maybe a couple months down the road. But I really want to stick with this one for a while. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for all the support you guys have been giving me. It's It's been ridiculous. You guys have absolutely blown up some of my videos recently. Y'all have been killing it with the support. So I just want to say thank you guys for that. Leave a comment down below and let me know how you guys are feeling about this new electricity update that's about to come out soon. Do you think it's going to help revive Rust at all? Or is it just going to be the same thing? They're probably going to add a ton of bugs. Because I can already tell you I'm going with option two. I think it's just going to add an insane amount of bugs. But who knows? Maybe they'll actually do something right for once.
Anyways, thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe if you're not. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.